This is from David Foster Wallace's Good Old Neon. You already know the difference between the size and speed of everything that flashes through you and the tiny inadequate bit of it all you can ever let anyone know. As though inside you is this enormous room full of what seems like everything in the whole universe at one time or another, and yet the only parts that get out have to somehow squeeze out through one of those tiny keyholes you see under the knob and older doors. As if we are all trying to see each other through these tiny keyholes. But it does have a knob. The door can open, but not in the way you think. But what if you could, think for a second, what if all the infinitely dense and shifting worlds of stuff inside you every moment of your life turned out now to be somehow fully open and expressible afterward, after what you think of as you has died, because what if afterward, now each moment itself is an infinite sea or span or passage of time in which to express it or convey it, and you don't even need any organized English, you can, as they say, open the door and be in anyone else's room in all your own multiform forms and ideas and facets. Because, listen, we don't have much time, here's where Lily Cash slopes slightly down, and the banks start getting steep, and you can just make out the outlines of the unlit sign for the farm stand that's never open anymore, the last sign before the bridge, so listen, what exactly do you think you are?